Bună ziua! Vă mulțumesc frumos că ați venit la masterclassul de astăzi. Întâlnirea de astăzi este dedicată unui concept și anume acela de a reuși să integrezi culturi diferite în, în general într-o țară și într-o într altă națiune. Invitata noastră de astăzi este Maria de Sousa, actriță de origine portugheză, devenită italiancă, deoarece, ca și mine, s-a mutat în urmă cu 15 ani la, la Roma și activează atât în Portugalia cât și în Italia în teatru. Maria de Sousa, împreună cu mine și cu colega noastră, actrița Alger, din Alger, Algerina e Nadia Chibut, nu? Sim. Devenită italiană și franțuzoică, a creat acest grup numit Bianco Nero a Colori, despre care să las pe Maria să vorbească mai mult. Uh, hello, welcome. Hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for being here for the masterclass. Uh, we were we were curious to know about you a little bit. How did you came up with this idea? How did you came up with this uh, idea to create this group? And to tell our friends from Romania, from Bucharest, uh, what it means to be a foreigner in, in Italy as an actor. I started uh, doing uh, plays, theater, and uh, with a non-professional uh, group. And after a while, I became semi-professional, and I'm still semi-professional in, in uh, uh, doing plays. But my heart was for acting in cinema. So I just pursued my studies in cinema and uh, I studied in um, Rome, where I live. I actually, it's where we met. Yeah, actually, that's where we met in a uh, very important masterclass from uh, Ivana Chubuk in uh, Rome. She's very famous in Romania too. She opened the school here. Oh, I yes. had no idea. I had no idea. I think she's, she's a little bit famous everywhere because the, her technique is one of the most uh, known in world, world, worldwide. Well, it's so, true, but a very interesting technique is true. It's true. Yeah, yes, I, I, I actually, I, I, I love it. And I am, um, my career is still growing and I'm still keep studying. And, uh, and let's say um, I start seeing movies, not only from the uh, acting uh, perspective, but also behind behind the, the scenes as well and I'm getting very uh, in love with behind the scenes too. Um, as I was saying, I studied in Los Angeles, in uh, Italy, in uh, London, in Portugal, so I need to have an um, um, uh, open mind about acting, not only in Italy that I love and I live there, but also um, to have the, the, the chance to act in different countries. So how did you think so about this idea? The idea just, just came up very, very um, normally because that's why I, I, I was facing in the Italian um, uh, market for uh, actresses. The thing is that every time I used to go to um, an audition, I had to do the same stereotype role. Okay. When I say stereotype role, it really stereotype. <laughs> and you can tell I mean, me. I mean yes. Okay, the roles that normally was uh, till one or two years ago was like, for me, being an African Italian, was like a prostitute, was like cleaning. the ones cleaning, cleaning, the ones that came with the boats. I mean, with a negative perspective. It's, it's negative. Unfortunately, I can see so, the same about Eastern Europe as my case. <laughs> at, at the same time, it does not uh, face exactly what is Italy at the moment. No, exactly. So there's that's what majority of people probably see in newspapers, in at the news and TV. But there's a whole world apart from that. I, for instance, I'm an actress. I do a, a bunch of, of things to, to pay my bills, let's say. Yeah. I'm a part-time flight attendant. I'm a network marketer part-time. I write, so I do you a bunch of things that has nothing to do with the stereotype roles. <laughs> well, I, I believe in stereotype roles when you have to tell about a specific story. Of course, if you are telling about a prostitute that came from Nigeria or whatever, she has to be black, 
she has to play the role of a prostitute. Mm -hmm. And that, that's one, one thing. The other thing is, when I study with Italians, when I'm living in Italy, when I had a degree in Italy at the university, and I speak, I think, almost perfect Italian, um, it's, it's, that, that, it's a shame because have a different skin color, it's a net value. It's nothing to hide. It's a net value. Net value means it's something more, something that you put in your movie or you put in your play, and it tells a little bit of a different story, not 100%, because you don't have to always tell the story about a black character or African character. You don't have to tell it always the story. story. She's just a girl living next door, and it happens to be African, or it happens to be Chinese, or it happens to be whatever, alien. You know, it doesn't have to, you don't have to explain every day the difference. You know, the difference. She's just a girl, and she speaks the language. My son is 11. He was born in Italy, his father is Italian, so he's half caste. So, sometimes he makes me some questions, kids questions, <laughs> uh, about the skin color. And one of the first questions my son was tell because somebody just t told him that he was black. And he was very, um, kind of, um, he didn't understand why you call him black. I'm brown, I'm not black. If you call me brown, I accept that. If you call me black, I don't accept that. So that was so funny because uh, it is also funny. It's not always, you know, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. no. It's, it's, it has a funny part that I, I am here. Yes, yeah, so yeah. so we are trying to write something uh, cultural and funny, a short movie together uh, about this, this, this kind of, 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 uh, of questions that kids may make. Um, which, which are really, really fun. This is all, only one of the, 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 the questions my son asked me once. So you came up with this idea to create yes. a group yes. that at the beginning was a, a group dedicated to Afro-African uh, descendant uh, who lives in Italy, but not only women, also men. And there were actors and directors, and it was called uh, N Group. Collect Collectivo N. Collectivo yes, N. Yes, yes. You've been to Cannes, you've been to Venice, you've been to the most yes. important festivals to make this awareness, no? to speak to the people, to make them be aware of the fact that you don't have to uh, cast type roles, you have to think wider. The thing is that uh, it comes, everything comes naturally at a certain point of your life. I, I think it happens with everyone. We went, um, I went to a festival in Rome, and um, this festival, there were so many Africans uh, that day. I think that day, because they were invited as a group, and I had no idea they were a group. When I met them, I was happy, because they fight, not, fi not a big fight, but they face the same problems when they go to, to do an audition. So we just put ourselves all together and they are like 200 at the moment. So that was very nice and we went to, uh, last year we had a round table in Venice festival, which was very, very important because there was the first time we felt that uh, directors, scriptwriters, uh, everybody involved in the, in the movie industry in Italy pay attention. We were paying attention to what we were saying. Because what we were saying is very simple. It's nothing, you know, it's not, you know, we didn't find out nothing so important. But there's the need to show in the movie that being with a different color, it's nothing special. Because that's what happens every day. So we have to show a little bit more of what happens every day in everyday life, regular life. You know, African people, it, they get married, they have romance, they divorce, they, 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 cry, they, they, laugh. they cry, they laugh, they have a degree. They are not so only for cleaning. You don't have to keep showing only for cleaning, only with a negative perspective like um, gangsters, whatever. And in this, in this thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be next to you and, and say that me as a Romanian actress in Italy, that of course I speak a very good Italian, but of course I wasn't born in Italy, my mom she's not Italian, my father is not Italian. Uh, I had the same problems as you had, even though my skin is uh, lighter, 
but I had the same problems because, you know, going to do auditions as a Romanian actress, you were having these kind of roles. The cleaning lady, the prostitute, and the negative. I also played the uh, drug, which was nice because it was exactly the opposite <laughs> that I am. Um, so what are we trying to say is that everything in the movie industry starts with the script. What does it mean? That the script has to come up with an idea. The idea has to come up from somebody that wants to tell a story without, without thinking that she has to be black or white or Romanian or Russian or, or, or African, if it's not necessary for the story. They have to think about a story and make a casting for and give the opportunity to all the actors to have, a, to have an audition. So that's how you came up with this group that, uh, that I tried to be part of. Yes, and at a certain point I just decided that I wanted to focus more in women. Maybe because I'm, I'm a woman, maybe because it comes naturally. And, and we get paid less and, and we have many other problems. Yes, and we, yes, when we get older we have many more issues. So. The thing is that one thing at the time, you have to focus on one thing at the time, but for now what we want to say is um, women from all races, it doesn't matter the color of your skin, what matters is, is your talent exactly. and preparation. Because yes, you have, to have if you have talent design. and preparation, that means you have to be chosen for that, not for your skin color. Exactly. You don't have, it's like, um, Try not to focus on the skin color when you pick a character or when you write a script. When you write a script and you pick your uh, actress, uh, you do the auditions, it's, it's, it's time to, to come up and not see, oh, she's black or she's brown or she's yellow and she's, she's not good enough for that. Role. And actually, so we're thinking in our group to 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 to, to, to get together also uh, a Japanese actress, a Chinese actress, an Indian yes. actress, like to have exactly a successful horror group to have all colors, like you know, black, white, all colors, and all to fight for for a good cause, which is talent, work, yes. uh, women, women power, and uh, and why not writing together uh, the stories. And uh, the other thing that uh, it, it always comes with, with when we do the, the, the master class is the uniqueness of everyone. Everyone is unique. It doesn't matter your skin color. It doesn't matter the way you are. What matters is when you wake up and you look in the mirror in the morning, that is you. Only you. There's nobody like you, like that. So that is your Force. That is your, um, you have to go out with that and not think about anyone else. You have to value yourself for first. It's like the first time I, I found out about that because it takes a, a little bit of time, a little bit of life to get there. <laughs> I got a little bit there, not 100%, and from that day I say, okay, I'm me. I don't care if people see me black or African or whatever. I, I start to know my value. That's what Viola Davis, by the way, said in, uh, in the yes, Rome actually, Festival. Yes. yes, it was an inspiration for us as a group and for us as, a, as an artist. She said the same thing, that right now in America there's a big lobby actually where they are fighting in order to create leading characters with black skin but in order to make them become like the, the, the positive, the, the, the main character in the story. We that was a great inspiration because we had last month uh, the opportunity to do the red carpet that you could see um, to give our contribution to, because the Roma uh, Film Festival decided to give a Life Achievement Award to Viola Davis. I, you know who Viola Davis is. <laughs> and. Um, we were so proud. There was a great emotion to be there all together, uh, also with Na uh, Nadia, and uh, to give our contribution. And we know what it means because it meant a lot. Not only the the the, the, the award itself, but the message she gave in Rome. And to be honest, um, Maria de Souza is here with us today, and we say hello to our colleague Nadia Kibut. Nadia Kibut. She's a very, very well-known, uh, talented actress. As I said, she's from Algeria, but she worked a lot, a lot, a lot in France, in Paris, and now she's in uh, in Rome. We are opening our our gates 
to Romanian um, artists, Romanian actors or directors or scriptwriters that they have other um, origins than Romanians, like either African or Chinese or, uh, you know, there's a very important community in Romania of uh, Hungarian also. So we're opening our doors to other artists that they want to join our cause. And uh, of course, this group, Bianco Nero Ecolori, is uh, first of all dedicated to women from uh, uh, other uh, ethnics. Yes, not, not only in Italy, because our reality is Italian, of course, because we live there and we work there, so we are more, um, we know the situation yes, very well. Yeah, we know so, but we would, we would really be happy to know other situations uh, where um, cultural and, and ethnicity is, 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 is beyond uh, um, borders, exactly. right? And maybe uh, also for sure, I'm sure we're gonna do something here in uh, in Bucharest. And this is important also for the co-productions uh, because if we are creating, let's say, a co-production between uh, Italy and Romania, of course, also because of the from the, from the point of view of the production, we will need both actors from Romania and from Italy, but that doesn't mean that those actors have to be like 100% Italian and 100% Romanian, but people that they were adopted by, the, by the na those nations. So this has to do with integrity, in, uh, with, um, with globalization, and with getting uh, much more aware of, of, your, of your capacity of working uh, abroad. I'm so we're also the case to also co-productions um, in between countries, Exchange, exchange between the artists. Yes, let's let's try to think about um, no borders, no borders like no races. Because if you live in a country and you're an artist, you're a scriptwriter, you're a director, and it doesn't matter, you want to work with different kinds of people, also to tell different kinds of stories. Because at a certain point, uh, you have to change stories. Because otherwise you can have 100, uh, 100 years telling the same stories because the, the world changed. The globalization, whether you like it or not, is here.